lethal company. So, experimentation. It's a good starter mood. That's about all it has to it. Experimentation has some pretty bad loot, bad spawns, but there's some beehive chance, and the enemies aren't bad per se, they're just kind of annoying. A pretty good starter moon, you'll most likely go to it first, because you have no idea what you're doing. See you. Now I have some history with this particular moon, and if you've watched a certain channel, you would know that. Assurance. Absolute peak. One of the best moons to go to early game. It's simple. You got main, you got fire, fire exit, you just have to climb a ladder, main entrance, you have to climb a ladder. But you can get into both of them very quickly. The sp the loot spawn is great, considering it's the second moon of the game. And the overall enemy spawn isn't bad. The worst thing there is worms and the man-eater having a decent chance. But honestly... That's fucking worth it. So yeah, Assurance really has- does not really have any downsides, only upsides. S tier, best moon, 10 out of 10, would recommend. Vow! Now Vow, beforehand, was worse than Experimentation, as it had similar loot pool to Assurance, it just had bad stuff. If this was a pre-Maneater update, I would have put it in like D or even F. But, it had some glow ups. And honestly, a guaranteed mine shaft and a much higher man eater chance, which is good for consuming power level. It's really good. Sometimes I'll go to Vale, sometimes I won't. Beat it. What's next? <laughs> Offense. Oh boy, similar to Assurance, except for worse in every way. The loot spawn is bad, it's mostly two-handed items. Oil heads and thumpers have the highest chance of spawning here. It has a pretty good chance of spawning old birds. It takes forever to get to the fire exit main entrance. The only thing that is preventing it from being a F is the fact you can get to the fire exit near immediately, similar to assurance. It just takes a little longer. Meet here. It's trash. March. March is a pretty mediocre moon. Its beehive spawn rates is one of the highest. So that's about cool. It has three fire exits, which is really cool. But that's about it. Its map size and indoor map size is humongous, even compared to like Titan. But you can get some pretty good money with beehives. I'd say it's B, but it's above bow. Now, what's next? Adamance. This one's a fun one. During the day, Adamant is basically just pure bliss. Good loose spawns, basically no threats, and a shit ton of flyy lizard boys. But, I'll say this, at night, it gets a little... ...hawky. Because it's a ridiculous outside power stat. If you can just get in, get out, it's pretty good. And it has some pretty good beehives, A tier. Rend. Now, Rend's a fun one. So I've had some experiences with nutcrackers in Rend. But once you get one shotgun, Rend is just a, a money farm. It's indoor loot, the fact it's basically always a mansion, and it's outside not being too harsh. It's a pretty good moon. Spend your money on it. A tier. It's above Adamant. Dine. Now, Dine's a fun one. It is Rend for butlers. The highest butler chance, but that's about all it has. It's just a more expensive Rend and more inconvenient to get to. It just has higher butler chances. If you really like knives, it's good. Beat it. Embryon. Now, why am I even ranking this one? This one should be pretty self-explanatory. Its loot is comparable to experimentation, and that's just sad. For a $150 moon, having the highest outdoor power level, constantly being lathered in old birds, the most spike traps I've ever seen, it is just not worth going. If it was free, maybe, but it costs money, and it's hidden, so... 
I had Titan. This is the easiest one to get indoors. This is the easiest one to get to indoors. Outdoors has a lot of dogs. That's about it. The indoors ha has some uh, fascinating sights, one could say. But besides that, it's pretty damn safe. Lowest here, honestly, it's really good. And finally, the crown jewel of Lethal Company runs the most expensive at $1,500. Artifice. Now, the cons. It has ridiculous amounts of masks, few old birds, and the outdoor maps a bit of a pain. Rose. The highest value out of any moon, except for liquidation, but that's technically not a moon. It's a fire exit right next to main entrance, similar to Titan. It barely has any weather conditions. And it really isn't much else to say, it's just a good map. It is a high S tier. But it's a bit deadly. If you know what you're doing, it's pretty good. Above assurance. And that's it. It's the tail list. Bye, I love you.